hello everyone thank you for stopping on my channel in this video we are going to move on in our testing so we have created a test to um, that will check the registration page and then we will create a test that will check if the user can access the register page and then user can log in with the or register yourself in the with using the provided uh, fields uh, in this uh, you can see we were using uh, we were changing the uh, fields because um, they are they should be unique based on the validation so what we are going to do is we are going to do something about that so uh, here you can see on the documentations they are uh, talking about the database truncation and uh, they are saying like you have to install this package so I'm going to go ahead and install it and clear the screen test uh, that command and once that is done then we have to use the database truncation okay so that is now done and the next thing we need to do is uh, we can use the database truncation so I'm gonna go ahead and add that to our test class I'm gonna paste that right here and we're gonna import that like this and now if I run the test again HPRT and dusk Also in the documentations you can see they are saying like we can provide some tables to be just truncated or we can provide tables that uh, should not be uh, truncated. So in our case we don't need any of that. So you can see now that test has successfully passed and if I rerun the test it's not going to throw error because each time it's going to whenever it's going to execute the test uh, it's going to like truncate the database. And, uh, Remigrate re the migrations and things like that. So, like we don't have much data loaded in the um, there in the database. So now we can write test for the login page. So here, what we are gonna do is first we are gonna create our uh, register user and then we are gonna log in with that user credentials. So. Uh, we can do that in this test as well as we can create another test. So uh, I think we can create another one for that. So I'm going to go ahead and create um, Okay, so does create and then um, in our case, let's also call it uh, login test. So now also we are gonna like we can truncate that one as well i'm gonna go to this login test class and i'm gonna use that as well as import this and here let's test that uh, user can log in with valid credentials so user equals to we can register user or we can create a user on the factory as well so i think we did that right here no we didn't we actually type the things in that and um you know we can create uh, user factory create and we can pass parameters let's say email is gonna be let's say or let's uh, let that be generated automatically as well so it's gonna generate uh, one user for us and the password is definitely password for by default and here what we are gonna do is we are gonna log in with that green shields so first we are going to uh, visit the slash login and after that just like um, we did in this thing like um, we targeted fields and then um, we pressed those um, submitted those buttons so on login page uh, we can see we have email and uh, password field so uh, and we can check for the like the ids you can see this is the id email and we can have that and using the user 
which is this one so dollar user of email and we have to use that so dollar user and this is opt type user user model actually use this and uh, the password is uh, password and then we're gonna press the button and then we are going to wait for the hash button to disappear just like we did in the login right uh, wait until missing and then we will be redirected to the dashboard dashboard uh, endpoint so i'm gonna pass that and let's wait for the password field to disappear which means this is going to be successful when that is done so i'm going to go ahead and um, run the test and let's see if that's going to be successful Okay, so you can see here the user can register, uh, log in with valid credentials. Now we have to uh, test for the other side as well. Like user can should not be able to log in uh, with invalid credentials, right? So user cannot underscore here. Not uh, cannot log in with uh, invalid actually invalid credentials. So uh, for this we can pass some uh, wrong credentials. Let's say um, something let's say test at gmail.com password is password let's say but the username and the email is different right so now in this what you are going to do is um, we can uh, test something so I use back filler to fill some random stuff in the form and then submit it and you can see here we see the these credentials do not match our record which means we can uh, wait for this to appear in the view so i'm going to copy this and then come here and i'm going to check uh, wait until wait for the wait for text yeah we can use this one uh, i'm going to pass this wait for this text to uh, like get appeared and then assert that uh, um think we can use the same thing so so text uh, is the login the same the title title is this one laravel login uh, login dash laravel um, we have that one as well but we have some other possibilities like you can see here uh, different options uh, if I look for the text or body button, um, assert can see. Uh, let's check the documentation actually. Assert path is uh, also you can check the path right. The path should be slash login right. So. This text uh, is a fear and also assert path is slash login. So that is also something that can be used. And also we don't need to use the uh, dollar user variable which does not exist in this case. So let's run the test uh, and hopefully this should work because the credentials are incorrect. So I'm going to run that and uh, that will be the last test for the login page. Then we are going to move on to the dashboard and uh, we're gonna like navigate through category as well as dashboard and create um, the things and for every crude operation we're gonna create a test so let's wait for this to complete user can log in with valid credentials user cannot log in with valid credentials and you can see that test is uh, successfully passed we created this one and that is uh, it so in the next video we are gonna move on to the 
and like you're gonna log into the application then you're gonna navigate to the category and um, dashboard pages and then we're gonna move on from there so thank you for watching and see you in the next one